Hello, my name is Olutola Omoni. You can just call me Tola. I'm a speaker, a public speaker, um, an MC, a compere, and I run an online gospel radio station, Praise World Radio. That's praiseworldradio.com. really great to be speaking with you today because um, I'm excited that we have young people out there who are still willing to listen to this. The truth is the norm out there in this world, in this century, is the fact that purity is really, ugh, come on, it's like back old school, archaic. You don't want to tell your friends that you're even a virgin because they will laugh at you. But anyway, I'm here to speak to you about one thing that I think will help you. Way back in my university days, I was, well, I was born again during my university days and I used to stay in a building, a four flat building that had quite a number of, I had a number of colleagues that were doing things the wrong way, which seemed like the right way then, you know, and I got to realize one thing one day. I was going to school and um, I got a free ride from one of them and I was in the car with him. And this was someone that you might be looking at, you might look at him as someone really doing great stuff, you know, like, yeah, he's one of the big boys on campus and all of that. And then he sincerely, honestly looked in my eye and asked me how I do what I do. And he confessed, it wasn't something he was going to tell his friends, but he told me that he really wished he could be pure like I was. He really wished he could do without, you know, all the other things he used to do, drinking and smoking and, you know, all those things. When I left the car that day, I understood one thing, that a lot of the people that you feel ashamed to tell about your virginity status, your purity status, really, really did feel or wish they were in your shoes. Here's the deal. If something is wrong, it remains wrong, even if it is a hundred years from now. The Bible has made it clear about this. And your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So you gotta take good care of your body and you have to stay pure. The truth is, when you get married like I am right now, you will have a lot of that. Yeah, so it's worth waiting for. And there's something for those people out there who are not virgins anymore. Like I didn't get married a virgin, but when you make a mistake, you don't, you don't just stay down, you get back up. So if ever for some reason you have fallen short, you know, of God's plan and purpose for you staying pure, it's not the end of the road. When you tell God you're sorry, when you ask God for forgiveness, you can still get back up. And promise God and make a commitment that you are going to stay pure. As far as God is concerned, you're a virgin. And that is very important. Praise World Radio is an online gospel radio station and we are committed to the broadcast of great gospel content, urban gospel music programs, interview, uh, just you know, sharing um, materials, you know, urban content with kingdom values. And music, movies, entertainment in general is one tool that the devil is really using at a time like this to penetrate um, the society, to affect you and I, and to make us you know do things that, that the law doesn't want us to do um, since i am a media practitioner right here the media is a very powerful tool it depends on what you use it for when you check out the number of movies released today you will see there is probably an homosexual character or uh, an homosexual you know gay probably gay married people in, in, the, in the movie and they're just trying to sell these values to you but it's up to you to take it or not 
The reason why uh, we are dedicated to doing what we do at Praise World Radio is because we know that whatever you allow into your ears and into your eyes uh, will finally find its way into your heart. And if it can find its way into your heart, it will manifest in your life. So my question for you is, what are you listening to? What are you watching? What are you reading? If you really want to stay pure, or if you need to develop yourself in purity, then you need to be very careful what you consume through these um, places I call the windows to the soul, your eyes and your ears. So I'll advise that you spend more time listening to great music, listen to Praise World Radio and great songs like that, uh, that will instead of you know corrupt and defile you, will edify you, okay? Uh, and one more thing, okay? Because we are young and we are, we are, we are people that have a lot of strength in us at this time. The strength that we have as young people is for a purpose, is for productivity. Here's the deal. If you are idle, the devil will use you. That's the truth. No matter how anointed you are, no matter how, no matter who you are, if you are idle, like you're in the room all by yourself, you don't have anything doing, you don't have anywhere going, you don't have any plan, the devil will just give you something to do. Okay, it might come from pornography to masturbation and so many things you can get yourself busy doing. So, this is how you can overcome that. Get busy, have a plan. Have a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, a 50-year plan. When you have that and you keep working on it, you keep modifying it, then you will always be busy. Trust me, it pays to be busy because idleness is just, is just terrible. It's something the devil uses a lot uh, to affect your purity. So I just hope I've been able to share with you one or two things that will help you. And um, just in case you you are not, you know, you're wondering like, what's all this guy is saying? Man, I, I am far from, I'm far from pure. Purity is what the Holy Spirit can give to you, irrespective of whatever you might have done, despite your fault. You can make a fresh start today. You ask God for forgiveness and you stay at it. The whole idea of this in the end is for you to be proud of your status. Let us make good the good, okay? Uh, the saying now, bad is the new good, okay? Let's change that. Let's make good the new good. Let's be able to say that we are virgins, that we are standing up for purity, and let's be proud of it, and let people be proud of us doing that. And I'm sure when you do that, when I do that, when you tell your friends and we all do this, the world would be a better place. And I'm sure you're going to be saying the same words to your children. All right. So get ready to teach them some of these things. God bless you so well. I mean, he give you the strength, the courage and the capacity to overcome temptation, to stay upright and to stay pure. God bless you.